Today's recipe is a beef carbonade. It's a Flemish style of beef stew from Belgium, but it uses one of my absolute all-time favorite ingredients, beer. This recipe uses chuck steak, which is quite a tough cut of meat, and it needs some long, slow simmering to really break down that connective tissue. So it's perfect for cooking on the induction hob. Okay, we want to sear the beef off first, and that's going to give a lot of flavor to the stew at the end. Now a lot of people think you need to use special pots for induction, but anything that's magnetic is absolutely fine. This is a big old enamel cast iron pot and that works great on induction. I want to sear the beef in batches so I don't overcrowd the pot. It's stewing later, not now. So I'm going to fry it off first and then stew it later. Take all the beef out now. We've got a nice amount of sort of brown crust in the bottom. That's going to be the basis of our stew's flavour. So a little bit of butter in with some of this speck. You could use bacon as well. Now some onions. Really sweat those onions off. Some garlic as well. Now flour to soak up all of the juices in there. We're almost making a roux at the bottom here that's going to give a lot of body to the stew at the end. And now for our beer. Just want to add it a little bit at a time and really stir it in well so it's nice and smooth. I can get the beef back in now. And a few of our seasonings. Some brown sugar, some mustard, and also some apple cider vinegar. Some stock as well, just to bring the level up. And then lastly, our bukagani. Put the lid back on that, I'll turn this down to a simmer. And I'll set the timer as well, this is a really useful function. You've got the timer right there with the pot that's cooking, so no mistakes on how it's gonna cook. And then about 20, 30 minutes from the end, I'll throw in some big chopped carrots to finish it off, and that will be our beef carbonara.